Welcome to my virtual presentation. I am your presenter, Dr. Kibet. Uh, the topic of my presentation is children's common speech production problems. Children are born ready to learn a language, but they need to learn the language or languages that their family and environment use. Learning a language takes time and children vary in how quickly they master the milestones in language and speech development. Typically, developing children may have trouble with some sounds, words, and sentences while they are learning. However, most children can use language easily around five years of age. But sometimes children ex exhibit sudden speech production problems. These problems may be classified into two groups. One, speech production errors and the speech fluency disorders. So we shall be looking at these two problems that children exhibit when they are learning a language. So first and foremost, I want us to begin by looking at the speech production errors. What are speech production errors? These are minor problems in which children misarticulate words. There are four types of speech production errors that children make. One, we are calling it omissions. Here, a child omits a given sound in a word. For example, the child may say member for remember, bed for blade. So that is that error, we are calling it omission error. Number two, we call it substitution. What kind of an error is this? This is actually where a child substitutes an unknown sound with a known sound. For example, Poi instead of a boy. The third omission, I mean speech production area that children make is called insertions. This is where a child inserts a sound where it should not be. For example, Sherbad instead of Sherbad. And finally, the other speed production error that children make is what we call distortions. This is where the child completely distorts a word. For example, a child may say, Lekerik for electric, Kartatasi for the Swahili word Karatasi. Such problems are minor and they tend to disappear with age as the child develops a better ear for language and as they gain control over their speech organs. The other uh, production uh, problems that children make, we are calling it speech fluency disorders. And these are more serious problems that affect the fluency of speech. And there are two major fluency disorders, namely stuttering and cluttering. Stuttering is a speech condition that is characterized by abnormal stoppages with no sound, repetitions, or prolonged sounds. Sometimes it involves unusual facial and body movement as the child struggles to speak, speak. This condition is more common in boys than the girls. Cluttering affects the rate of speaking. It includes errors in articulation, stress, and pausing. Often, the speech seems too fast. Most parents want to know how to deal with a stammering child. It is important for them to know that their re reactions as listeners are very important in helping a stuttering 
or a cluttering child cope with this or a problem. Negative listener's reactions like loving or criticizing the child or the speaker facilitate these problems. The stuttering child needs to feel like a normal child who just happens to have a fluency problem. Now, lastly, I want us to look at the suggestions which are very useful for persons dealing with children uh, who have these problems. So if you want, if you are working with a child or you are a teacher uh, or a parent, the following suggestions are very key. They are very important for them to note as they deal with children who have these production problems. One, do not interrupt or constantly direct the child. You should wait patiently for the child to finish expressing himself or herself. Number two, resist the temptation to tell the child to slow down. Number three, make sure that the, the other children do not tease or belittle the child. Number four, listen patiently to what the child is saying and note how he or she is saying it. Five, refrain from criticizing, correcting, or helping the child to speak. Six, strengthen the children's expectation of normal fluency and self-confidence as a speaker. Number seven, be a good speech model. Always articulate words correctly. Eight, avoid praising the child for stuttering a fewer number of times. This could imply you like them better when they, stop, they don't stammer and increase their anxiety. And finally, never ask or have somebody say what for them. This, make them. this makes them feel inferior. So this, in this uh, presentation, I have actually been giving uh, problems or production problems that our children make when they are growing up. Thank you and bye-bye.